Roger Hernandez is the Ministerial and Evangelism Director for the Southern Union in the NAD. Just a few hours ago, Pastor Roger wrote this, Idols always eventually require the sacrifice of your children. Pastor Roger, I want to thank you for saying this because the prophet Jeremiah lived during a time when people around him were sacrificing their children to Moloch and Baal, and God spoke through Jeremiah, and he said, They have forsaken me, and have filled this place with the blood of the innocents. They have also built the high places of Baal to burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings to Baal, which I did not command or speak, nor did it come into my mind. The Bible says right there that the murder of children never came into God's mind. Question for Pastor Roger, if idols require the sacrifice of children and murdering children never came into God's mind, then why are you a member of an organization that supports murdering children? It is a historical fact documented right here in Ministry Magazine that the Adventist Church has both supported and practiced destroying children in their mother's womb for over 45 years. Our Adventist hospitals, for the purpose of financial gain, open their doors to abortion on demand through the 20th week and even later for what? For compelling social reasons and still be in harmony with the GC guidelines. Pastor Roger, this here is an MRI scan of a baby leaping in the womb. And John the Baptist was six months in the womb when he was leaping at the sound of Mary's voice. It states right here in black and white in Ministry Magazine that Adventist hospitals with the Adventist name and the approval of Adventist church leadership were violently dismembering and destroying children just as developed as John the Baptist. And that is a direct quote from the vice president of the GC. And if that's not bad enough, these abortions were performed under the stated mission, the healing ministry of Jesus. Pastor Roger, it is a documented historical fact printed right here in our own magazines that Adventist hospitals have intentionally murdered thousands of unborn children in the name of Jesus. Where, where in the Bible does it say that Jesus had to rip the arms and legs off unborn children as part of his healing ministry? We Adventists state right here that the Bible is authoritative and the Bible consistently and unanimously describes and defines the unborn as children, as sons, as brothers, and as babies. The Bible defines the unborn as living human children and as such are under the protection of the Sixth Commandment. Pastor Roger, the Jesuit Pope, is constantly recognizing the humanity of the unborn. It is God who gives life. Let us respect and love human life, especially vulnerable life in a mother's womb. And the unborn are all made in the image of God and worthy of the highest respect. Pastor Roger, what has happened to our church that a Jesuit pope is right on abortion, but God's remnant church is wrong? Surely, this ought not to be so. According to the Guttmacher Institute here, there are approximately 56 million abortions every year worldwide between 2010 and 2014. During that exact same time, the World Health Organization reports right here that in 2010, the top three causes of death are heart disease, 9 million, stroke, 6 million, and respiratory infections, 3 million. Do you see the problem? Abortion kills 56 million children every year, but the leading, quote, authority says that heart disease is the number one killer. They do this because they don't believe that the unborn are human. Abortion is the number one way that people die. The most dangerous place for a human on planet Earth is in the mother's womb. And the top leaders in the SDA church at the GC cite from the WHO as their authority and totally ignore abortion and thereby give tacit approval to the worldview of the WHO, which is antithetical to the Bible. If God's remnant church does not take the right position on this issue, 
then the only example of protecting the unborn that the world has to look at is Rome. Pastor Roger Hernandez, if murdering children never came into God's mind, but our church has openly supported murdering children, then from whose mind did this come from? This abortionist right here said that after she rips off the arms and legs, she likes to rip their spines out of their backs. Pastor Roger, according to your post right here, idols require the sacrifice of children. And if our church has sacrificed children and ripped their spines out of their backs for financial gain and prosperity, then are you going to be silent or are you going to do something about it?